Hey y'all, this is Robin with Heroes Legends Studios and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom idle animations and get them running inside your game. So here's an example of what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to set up a timer that is continuously running and it's waiting uh, 5 seconds and when it counts down from 5 seconds it will switch the main character animation to an idle animation. Now, we're also uh, checking the any directional inputs to make sure that we, when we're in our idle animation, we can go from uh, that to back to our normal uh, character sprite sheet. So I find that the easiest way to do this is to just do a sprite sheet swap and from your normal character to an idle animation, and then turn stepping on. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So let's see. Okay, so switching to my new project, uh, custom model animation. We have. Uh, I'm gonna use all, mostly just common events, and this is gonna be an easier way for us to uh, reuse a lot of these calls and these events. And it's really a common event is just a sequence of commands that we can just call throughout any maps because we want this idle to work in any of our maps without us having to copy and paste uh, a lot of the event code uh, into different maps we can just call the common event and if we need to change that we don't need to uh, go to each individual map and change that code all the all those events and their commands we just change it in the common event uh, this common events should be used all the time when they can if you have any duplicating events or duplicated events use common events. Uh, you're not wasting any space here. Um, it makes updating events much easier. So uh, the first event I have is a set timer event and what we're going to do is we're going to just set a new variable which is going to be the timer variable and again like I said we're going to set it to 5 and we're going to count down so we're just going to set this to 5 and we'll call it from our main event every time we want to go to a new map we're going to set the timer start it and whatnot so uh, so set the timer to 5 now we have a run timer event and this is actually going to be counting the timer down so we need to actually turn this on it's going to be a parallel event when this switch is running so is timer running yes what this is going to do is we're going to check to see if our timer variable is greater than zero. Okay, And when our timer is greater than zero, since we just set it to five, it's greater than zero, we are going to subtract that variable, our timer, subtract it by one, and we are going to wait 60 frames. Okay, So our timer is greater than zero, we're going to subtract one to four, wait 60 frames which is one second and continue down so three two one zero we'll eventually hit that now enable idle now this uh, common event is going to be checking our inputs to make sure that is the timer has the timer reached zero if it has update our idle animation if we've moved if we've pressed any of the directional keys, um, reset the timer and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. If timer is equal to, I like to do equal to less than just in case like my logic gets messed up and I accidentally somehow get negative one. Um, then we do that. So when the timer is zero and we're going to create a new variable if we're going to create a new variable and it's going to be uh, actually a new switch sorry new switch is player idling if the player is idling is on 
or sorry, if it's off, we're going to turn it on. Control switch. Uh, actually, sorry, this is where the fourth common event comes in. We're going to update the idle. And all this does is when we call the update idle, we know that we should update it and it's just going to flip our animations. So if player is idling, uh, we're going to say if it's on, then we're going to turn it off. So control switch, we're going to turn is idling to off and we're gonna if it's off then we're gonna turn it on okay. simple switch here this is all it's doing it's just updating the aisle now this is where some of the art swap comes in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a movement route for the player and we are going to swap its art let's see uh, change image and we have this character this is his walk animation and when we create our new one I just replace this and I'll provide this in the um, github and I when using the stepping animation it's going to work in a ping pong sequence just like the walking is if we see it's going to start in the middle two three two one two three and ping pongs back and forth so it animates in this kind of fashion we want the same thing to happen here if we're facing down it's going to be one two three two one two three and ping pong and you'll have to create your new sprite sheet just like this if you're going to be using this method which is uh, just using a walking type animation and turning stepping on so we're going to switch to this and we're going to turn stepping on okay and I also want to change the speed I'm going to change the speed to just so we can kind of see what's happening there and do we want to wait we don't need to wait for a completion and I'm going to copy this down here and right when we uh, uh, since this is on and we're turning it off we're going to just change this back to the normal animation or the normal walk cycle okay. stepping is going to be off and the speed is going to be normal okay. so again when we're if idle's playing we're going to turn it off go to our normal uh, actor and when idling is uh, when it's off we're gonna turn it on and we go to our so I'll provide this and so I feel like this is just really easy to understand but feel free to ask any questions in the um, in the comments so well I there's an additional check here we have the update idle and so if the timer has expired and the animation is off well we want to turn it on but if it's already on uh, we don't want to like keep turning it on and on and on again so that's why I have this little extra check here and the reason why you know we just have this update idle because we want to update it so there's kind of a double logic there but but that's okay this is the logic that will you know double check for us so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the common event and just say update idle so we only update the idle when we want to then uh, now we need to check for all the directional pushes, touches so we do here we're going to check for when a button is pressed so when down is pressed what do we do we're just going to copy this paste that here if um, idle is on 
then we turn it off. Okay. And so what this is going to do is as long as they're pressing the down button and if it's off or just uh, if it's on, we're going to turn it on. Off. Okay. And so forth. So we can just and we're going to reset the timer. So, oh sorry, this is another common event, and so we just say set timer. So I don't like that the you know all this stuff is blue, kind of hides these common events, but it is what it is. So this ensures that is the player idling is on. That's when we do the update. That's when we set the timer. And so I'm just going to copy this paste three more times, and then we're going to change this to up. to left and to right okay cool and again for the update idle uh, the reason why I use this animation so you can see that when you create your custom walk animation you have to create the four directions as well one you know down left facing right facing and up facing Okay, uh, if I didn't make that clear before. All right, now to put it all into action. What we need to do is now on our map, we need to say, we need to, I like to run an auto run event uh, for all my like setting variables uh, set up, which does like a whole bunch of setup for my individual maps. And this is just how I like to do things, but I like to keep the whole setup into one thing and it does what it needs to. So what we're going to do is we need to turn our variables on. Is timer running? We need to turn that on. And then we need to do a self switch. A is on and add a new page for self switch A is on. So this just runs one time. And once that turns on, and we need to set the timer as well. Once that turns on, is timer running? It's going to start our timer. It's just going to count, start the countdown. And once the timer is hits zero, uh, then we're going to uh, run this animation, which I forgot to add. This actually needs to be parallel too, and is player idling needs to be the switch. Uh, actually, I need to create a new switch. Enable, uh, we'll say idling is enabled. Okay. And we need to enable it. So, control switch. It, idling is enabled. We need to set that to on, and we also need to set the timer. Let's set the timer first. Oops, that's a con that's another common event. So let's set timer first. Then we're gonna enable the timer, and idling is enabled. Yes. Okay. So what happens here, um, that's a parallel event, and this is another parallel event. Uh, once we've set the timer, that's why we set the timer first, because we don't want it to start at zero, and then we immediately just idle. And as long as the idling is off, we turn it on. So that should be what we need. And I don't mean to make this like real quick and dirty, but it is. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and wait for this idle to come through. We're going to face right, and it's going to kick on. And you can see like it kicks on for all our other walking animations. Now, hopefully that's not too quick, um, and feel free to ask any questions. Um, right now, you can see there's a, a bug here. 
for the click uh, touch points and clicking. So I'm gonna create a, another tutorial for that. It was there's a slight bug in it, and it's I've got it working. There's a slight um, you know uh, alignment issue. I think that needs to be touched up a little bit before I actually add a tutorial for it because uh, I want to make sure it's perfect and exact works exactly as expected depending on like where you guys touch on the screen so uh, I hope this is enough and hopefully I wasn't it wasn't too fast and if it was too fast please let me know in the comments um, but I hope you like this tutorial and please like and subscribe always feel free to check out my twitch um, and ask me RPG maker questions or any questions when you get the chance so um, hope you enjoyed I'll see you next time